Hello Altos, my name is Jeff Rolka. I want to thank you for checking out my video. This is a lyric based warm up. So I've combined some witty little phrases with some challenging consonants along with some vowel sounds in order to work on not just our vocal warm ups and get things going, but also our overall technique. I am going to dive right in, but before I do, thank you if you've chosen to subscribe. And if you haven't yet, I hope that you'll consider doing so now. There is a link in the bottom screen there. If you want a step-by-step -step method to work on your voice, get a monthly newsletter about all kinds of cool vocal things, and also be one of the first to know about my upcoming guidebook to my YouTube channel, head over to jeffrolka.com and sign up for the email list, and all of that can be yours. And more. Okay. To get things rolling here, will you tell it to me? Now, there are specific challenges in each of these exercises, and I'll talk to you about them as we go. This phrase sounds like this. Will you tell it to me? Here, I'm really looking to keep those melismas connected. Will you tell? That one will tempt you quite desperately to put an H in there. Tell. No H's. Will you tell it to me? So we can begin. Uh, just begin right here. And. Will you tell it to me? Will you tell it to me? May I go next is next. May I go is next. And specifically, we got a sustained sound and we have to get a clean transition through the vowels. It sounds like this. May I go. So on that sustained pitch, may I. Getting a clean transition there. Additionally, the G sound. Try to keep the tongue from getting overactive. Try to release it a little bit. May I go? So we get a nice smooth line. And may I go? Okay, the next one, 
I think is a little sinister, R consonants, the R consonant, it's very tempting to sing into it, and that really disrupts our lines. It sounds like this. Tear it off. The temptation will be to go into the R prematurely. Tear it off. And you can hear what that does to the line. Stay in the vowel. That is the M-O. Tear. The R just quickly transitions us through into the next vowel sound. Tear it off. There may be times in your artistic interpretation of songs where you're going to include more of the diphthong. Here, we want to practice keeping it out. Let's start here. And. Tear it off. Tear it off. Now you may have noticed that the melodies I used for the previous two exercises were the same. And it's going to be the same for this one as well, but I did that intentionally to get you acclimatized to the melody, because this one goes, I should say begins, above the secondo passaggio. Now if you haven't been working in your upper register, that's fine, just wait until it gets into a comfortable range. Or if you've begun the process, you could use the lip trill to get started. The phrase begins just above the zona de passaggio and just above the secondo passaggio. And for lip trill users, and then it'll descend from there. The phrase is we fall down. Reasonably good vowel sounds for practice above the secondo passaggio. The challenge here is to maintain engagement such that you get a smooth line. We If you don't maintain your engagement, you'll get these little glissandis, these whoop de doos of pitch. It'll sound like this. We fall down. And while occasionally that can be cool, we want to be able to choose when to do it. So I want you to try to stay engaged and sing all the way through your line. You can begin here. Again, if it's a bit high, just start with a lip trill and work your way down. For those of you who are ready, and... Your goal here is to sing through all those
those Y consonants and deliver a smooth phrase. Sounds like this. I don't know if I mentioned it's in minor as well. And me. It's a bit of a palate cleanser. Begin there and. As always, I hope this helps. Take really good care of your voices. Enjoy singing, and hopefully we'll see you again. Bye.